Okay, folks, um, about a couple, two or three days ago, I bought this chili grind meat. I bought three packages. They were between 1.45 and 2 pounds per package. So I got around four and a quarter pounds of meat here, maybe four and a half pounds. And then I have about a pound of regular that I've been just whittling away at. Sorry if you can't see that. That's a, that's a chub. What we call a chub here in Texas. Anyways, this is going to be some Texas real chili. Uh, no beans. Uh, we're going to be using uh, yellow onions in it. Uh, we're going to be using... We're not going to put any uh, jalapenos or anything like that in it. Okay, folks, I am going to give you the recipe so you don't have to go back and look. You can if you want to see the differences in it. Uh, right here I have between one and a half cups to two, to two cups of chili powder, your favorite kind of chili powder. I have uh, three tablespoons of minced onion, one tablespoon of... Uh, garlic or garlic powder, two tablespoons of uh, onion powder, I have three tablespoons of gumino, I have one teaspoon of, uh, I mean one tablespoon of cayenne pepper, I have um, one tablespoon of of red chili flakes and a teaspoon of um, Mexican oregano and that's for good luck. Then of course you're going to use um, kosher, uh, you can use salt, sea salt. Okay folks, uh, <clears throat> I forgot to mention that I used a large onion, roughly chopped, started off the recipe with that, roughly chop it, put it in the, in the pot and start sauteing it. Then you're going to need two 14 ounce cans of diced tomatoes and a 14 ounce can of tomato sauce. These are two 8 ounces, but we're going to roll with that. Uh, I am draining half of the fat and I've already drained this much out of it. Uh, this is a three hour chili, so three, three and a half hours. We should put everything in there, we're gonna rock and roll. I'm not gonna show that part, I'll show you once I got it all. Okay, YouTubers, it's been three hours later. My chili is on point. It's not a real thick chili, it's not a real thin chili. Because I'm gonna put some crackers in it. You can put a little masarina if you want yours. Not necessary. You can see that steam of bowl of chili. What I am gonna put is a little bit of sharp cheddar cheese on it. That is steaming salt. Also, just because we can, a few pickles, because I love pickles. Now, all I got to do is squirt a little ketchup, because I like sweetness. Ketchup. Wipe this. Wipe this trick. Wipe this uh, bowl down a little bit. Oh, there you go. And you want to taste this chili, just the way it is. 